wasteful, unenvironmentally friendly. You can hear the sound of the generators. There are about eight generators altogether um, with air conditioning units. Uh, because inside there it will be like an oven. It's bright white and it needs a lot of air conditioning for these athletes to train. It's massively wasteful, it's unnecessary, it's unenvironmentally friendly and the people who said no to this and all the contaminated rubble that was underneath being dug up, we were punished and we are still being punished. Right here today, uh, we are in a situation where our group is facing 24,000 pounds worth of costs because we dared to lodge a judicial review with the council um, against their decision to build on metropolitan open land, protected land. We wrote to our local councillors, we were ignored. We put on weekly protests at this site we were ignored and we were lucky to be joined by a wonderful camp from Occupy who came here to join us in saying no and we stood in front of lorries coming into the site and that's when their reaction was to come down on us extremely extremely heavily they took out one injunction against us which is connected to 330 thousand pounds worth of costs. They also took out an injunction against the camp and they forcibly evicted this camp on the 4th of April with High Court bailiffs who stayed here for a matter of weeks and if someone could grab the appropriate photo, oh, here we have it already, uh, these bailiffs stayed on for a matter of weeks filming the local community and were a menacing presence on this marsh. There were many, many of them. It must have cost tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of pounds to have them here, our taxpayers' money, not just to build this wasteful facility, which has no use for the local people. We are locked out of it and will be dismantled after the game.